Leviticus 2 verse 13 and it says put salt on every grain offering because salt represents the covenant between you and God you must put salt on all your offerings and I ask myself would you accept me God if I offer myself to you, would you accept me? I am broken. I am messed up. I am filthy. <laughs> would you accept me? If I offer myself, would you accept me? You? And verse 15 says that add olive oil and put incense on it. The priest will burn that part of the meal and oil that is to serve as a token. And also... All the incense as food offering to the Lord but before then from Leviticus 1 I get to realize that the order of the sacrifice or the offering is pleasing to the Lord if I should offer myself to you would it be pleasing to you would you like it when the Bible says, offer yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. I didn't understand it. I heard it. I read it. Fine. But teachers failed to help us understand how we offer ourselves. <laughs> they just went through the surface of it, but not going deeper into it. Understanding the offering... That is why people read really it, dedicate themselves to you because they keep messing up. We don't understand it, Dad. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. In Leviticus, the Bible says that they kill the animals. It wasn't a living sacrifice, it was killed. But I, My position was taken by Jesus Christ when he was killed for me. So now I don't need to kill myself for you. I need to just offer myself back to you as a living sacrifice. The offering is where the problem is. Because sometimes we feel we have offered, but we haven't offered. We feel, I've given my life to Christ, but we're still messing up. We haven't gone into details that I need to read more about it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, kindly comment, and if you haven't subscribed, do well to subscribe.